So today is July uh, 28, right? Or 29th? It's July 29th. It's a Saturday, 2023, and it's uh, 5.40 p.m. So check this out. I just got through um, finishing this full kitchen install for $1,000 out here in Plano, man. And uh, they paid me. The customer paid me. And the customer's a young chick and a young guy, probably around 29, 30 years old, something like that. So once it's all said and done, we got a built-in refrigerator. We moved from the garage and put it in the house. It's a kitchen aid, you know them things like seven, eight hundred pounds. So uh, I got a crew together and we done dolly that bad boy in the house, fought it, you know what I'm saying? Got the appliances installed and hooked up. Everything looking nice, man. You know, I had to make a couple of minor adjustments, but we got everything wall oven put in everything, bro. Her dad comes at the end of the job. We've been there like four hours. Something like that. Her dad that I never met didn't hire me. She hired me. Pulls up with his chest out, looking around, smelling the air and shit, looking at my work, looking at the appliances and shit. I spoke with him. I knew he was a whole ass nigga when he came in, just by the way he looked. Fat ass white guy with a wrinkly face. He ain't even that damn old and he got a wrinkly face. I spoke to him. I'm like, how you doing, sir? Nigga ain't speak back. I already knew what kind of energy he was on. So, oh, this is my time to shine. I'm going to pick on his monkey ass. I just wait for the right moment. But anyway, so the garbage disposal, and I, I was giving notes to the young lady. I'm like, this is what you need to do. Because the garbage disposal, when you plug it up, it stay on the whole time. You need, so you need an electrician. Whoever installed this, you need the electrician to figure out why that plug is staying on all the time. Is there a switch to turn it on and off or what? Then also, there ain't no power and there ain't no plumbing for the dishwasher. So whenever you get the dishwasher, I can't install it because it ain't no plumbing and then it ain't, ain't no electrical for me to hook it up. So I'm giving her the notes on what, to, what needs to be done and her dad jump in the conversation. Per mile, use the left two lanes to turn left onto North Central Expressway. Her dad jump in the conversation. Let me mute this. Her dad jump in the conversation and uh, stick his nose in my business and start poking his chest out and talking hard and shit. So, you know, me being a man, you're not finna talk to me crazy, bro. I don't give a fuck who you are, how much money you got. He's about, where's your manager? I am the manager. Where's your supervisor? I am the supervisor. Who's the owner? I am the owner. So you're telling me this is your company? That's what I just told you. Where your manager at? Fuck, nigga. Why are you over here trying to argue with me? And she talking about, okay, guys, calm down. No, I ain't calming down. Fuck you. I'm pointing at this nigga. He talking about, don't point at me. Yeah, bitch, I'm talking to you. What's up? You know, everything was smooth. The whole house was cool. Every, I even asked the guy, like, I'm being real. I'm just being professional. He's talking about, it's not professional. That you, the garbage supposed don't work. Okay. I ain't install that bitch. So whoever's not professional ass needs to come back and fix it. We didn't install that. We installed the wall oven, which ain't nothing wrong with it. Well, there is something wrong with it. It don't fit in the cabinet, but we didn't fix the cabinets. Y'all had them cabinets cut, pre-cut, and whoever pre-cut them, you know, obviously didn't do a good job. So y'all need the cabinets fixed. Uh, the warmer drawer at the bottom need the cabinet fixed. Um, and then it's a scratch on the granite, right? Here's the catchy part, bro. They got granite countertops all through the house. And right there next to the cooktop, it's a big old scratch. He said, who's gonna fix this? I said, what? He's like, this big old scratch. I'm like, oh, this is a big old scratch right there. Oh, uh, what you mean, who's gonna fix it? Okay, well, which one of you guys are gonna fix it? Who, you gonna pay for it or something? It's like, no, why would I pay for it? We, we ain't make that scratch. He's like, yes, you did. She told me you did. It's like, you told him, and I'll tell you to your lady, cause she ain't told us nothing. Uh, you told him we made that scratch. And she's like, what she say? Did she say yes or did she say no? I forgot. No, she said yeah. She told him, yeah, we made that scratch. So I looked into my photos. I'm, I'm like, bro, I took a photo of the, of the whole area. I'm like, dog, that scratch was already there. Look, I put it up on my photo, zooming in. That scratch was already there. Then he looked at her. Why you tell me that they made the scratch? She said, I don't know. Bitch, why you sit here and blame me? Nigga, you about to 17 contractors in this damn house. I don't know who made that scratch. But I know it wasn't us. <laughs> Fuck, nigga. 
And then, uh, so yeah, we got the cooktop, Wolf, Wolf brand cooktop put in, wall oven put in, warming drawer put in, slide out coffee maker, didn't fit in the hole because the cabinet not big enough, uh, built in refrigerator. And he's talking about, is this stable? He's talking about, uh, raise it up some. It's like, hey, that's as far as it go. It don't raise up no more. It's snug with the cabinet. We already tested that part. Me, me, and, me and the uh, the, the little dude who's gonna be living here, you know, me and him, we, it's it's snug, bro. He talking about raise it up some. It don't go up no more. As far as it go, he talking about well, there's a gap on the side. You can't scoot it over. I'm like, yeah, I can scoot it over. But if I scoot it to the right, then that gap gonna be on the left. It's like, well, fix it. I was like, bro, you you, you just don't understand. Your cabinet too big for the refrigerator. If you want to fix that, you got to get your cabinet got to come out and, and fix that gap. Because I can't make the fridge bigger. See what I'm saying? I can make it higher and, and, and shorter. And I've already made made it max high. So if you want to higher than that, it can't go higher than that. You got to get a cabinet guy to hide the, the small space that's not even there. Yeah, man, he just came in barking and shit. And he ain't like when I pump my finger at him. It's like, uh, yeah, nigga. Like, first of all, I'm a grown man. I'm going to come in here. I ain't your motherfucking son or your daughter, nigga. I don't give a fuck about you. You ain't my customer. I'm trying to be uh, respectful to him talking about. Well, I'll call the police at, after, check this out. After he say, where your manager and where your supervisor and who's the owner and it's all me. Then he talk about, well, I'll call the police. What you gonna tell them? Your garbage disposal don't work? Call them hoes so they can come fix it. Dumb ass nigga. But I'm going to still go back. I told the customer, I said, say, man, even though, you know, me and your dad had our little, what you, what you call it, if there's anything that went wrong with the repair or, or it's something you can't find at this particular moment and you might see it later, let me know. I'll come back and fix it. Just make sure this nigga ain't here. You know what I'm saying? Fuck this nigga. You ain't finna sit here and talk to me like I'm just some mark. You crazy in the hole. You crazy in the bitch. I done sat up here and got motherfucking dirty and sweaty and hot and shit. And, uh, working my ass out to make sure these appliances look good. You come here barking, nigga. I don't even, first of all, who the fuck are you? You did. I already got paid. I leave all this shit just like a motherfucker is and walk out. Matter of fact, speaking of that, I know why she said all them contractors uh, walked out on her ass. Probably cause her dad punk ass came in there barking, and nigga said, "Man, I already got paid. I'm out." So next time I go, I gotta make sure I get paid ahead of time before I touch anything. I gotta get paid. Just in case your dad come here and start tripping, y'all don't want to pay me. I, I got to get my money. And then I'm told you that you lied on me. Straight like that. Got caught in your lie. I knew you was a sneaky little bitch. You were quiet the whole time. I was trying to figure you out. But now I know you a sneaky little hoe. But that's what's up.